Hello, good day. Welcome back to Calculus Wine. I am again Lou Valle, your subject instructor. Today we're going to discuss the six trigonometric functions in preparation for calculus. So, we go back to the right triangle we had earlier. So, the trigonometric identities actually works for right triangles like this. Let's have, for example, the most basic Pythagorean triple, 3, 4, 5. And let's assume an angle here. Okay, so let us identify first the parts of our triangle with respect to your angle. First, to name the two legs. The legs here will be the 3 and the 4. One of them would be opposite the angle. So let's call that opposite. And one of them is adjacent the angle. So that's adjacent. And of course, our longer side is always called hypotenuse. This is now where the mnemonics so katawa comes in we have so ka and toa this dictates the formula that you need when you are going to get the functions of the theta for example sine theta would be the ratio of the next two letters which are o and H that would be the so so katoa so so is S O and H that would be sine is opposite over hypotenuse in this example the opposite side is a length of 3 the hypotenuse is 5 so sine theta is 3 over 5. Let's try the others. Ka means, so you lay out the letters first. That would be cosine of theta would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be adjacent is 4, hypotenuse of 5. Then tangent equals Towa so that would be opposite all over adjacent and our example that would be 3 and 4 you can use this decimal equivalent but I prefer to use fractions to prove that that we are doing we are taking the correct values we can also check them by using the inverse trigonometric functions okay so we can have theta is the arc sign of your 3 over 5 you can use your calculator with that we cannot solve that orally however I already know that it is about 36 point eighty seven degrees. Same is true with the second one that would be cosine inverse or arc cosine or five four over five. That is also thirty six point eighty seven. And to further check we have arc tangent of three over four is also thirty six point eighty seven. This means that this angle is actually about 36.87. Let's try to com com uh, complex. Let's try complex problems. We'll only have two given. Let's try. Uh, 
25 and 7. And this would be your angle. In our next problem, we are just required to find the angle. Can we solve for the angle even without taking or solving for the third side? Actually, yes, we can solve your angle theta even without knowing the other leg. That is because we have given opposite is 7, hypotenuse is 25, and that function is sine. However, I am advising, encouraging learners to solve for the third side so that they could check their answers later. So, solving for the third side, that would be 7 squared plus, I'll just use B squared equals 25 squared. 49 would be plus B squared and 625. You just have to transpose 625 minus 49. B squared would be 576 and B is 24. Although, as I said earlier, we do not need the 24 just to solve for the angle because the angle already has the opposite and the hypotenuse that is actually sine of theta. Sine of theta is equal now to opposite over hypotenuse. And that would be 7 over 25. To solve for the angle, you can say theta is the arc sine or the inverse 7 over 25. Theta would now be, that would be 16.26 degrees. Now again to check, we can use the other functions. So we already have our cosine theta because we already know that this side is 24. So cosine theta would be your adjacent over hypotenuse, that would be 24 over 25. Theta would be the arc cosine of 24 over 25. Observe that the angle is the same. What if we are going to find the other angle? Let's try another. So we have here let's have uh, 11 and 60. Right. So we have here this is where we will get your data. Okay, given that it is a right triangle. Okay, let's remember the concept again of the naming of your legs. Remember that the third side is always your hypotenuse. No question about that. Sign it already. Now, what, which of the legs would be the opposite and which are the adjacent? So the adjacent so since, since this is the angle, the adjacent is the other one. The other one is always the hypotenuse. So the counterpart is always the adjacent. Now, the remaining side is the opposite. Okay, we already now named them. Which sides do we have? So we have 11 for the adjacent and 60 for the opposite. So we have Towa. Towa is tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So we have tangent of theta is opposite 60 over 11. 
theta would be the arctangent of 60 over 11. And theta should be, that's all, it would be inverse tangent of 60 over 11. That's 79.61 degrees. Again, you can check that by solving your hypotenuse or you can solve by solving again the other angle. So, using the other angle, that would be tangent of phi, I use phi, will be equal to, so in the angle phi, the opposite and adjacent actually interchanges. So the opposite would be the 11 and the adjacent is 60. So the phi is a tangent of 11 over 60. Phi should be a tangent. So I'll give you time to so, 11 over 60. So, this would be 10.39 degrees. With this given parameters, I would like to introduce you also the I would like to introduce you also the theorem that the sum of all the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. It would be angle theta plus angle phi plus let's just call that angle C is also equal to 180 degrees. You can also use this as a proof that your triangle is correct and your analysis is correct. It should show that 79.61 the first angle plus 10.39 degrees, second angle, and automatically our third angle is 90 degrees, should be equal to 180 degrees. This will prove to us that we have analyzed and solved for the correct answer. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something. Keep safe, stay at home, see you next video.